hello guys welcome back to the channel this is blessing and this is blinks fascinating um i want to say thank you to everybody that's been watching my videos thank you for your love your support for all your subscriptions and i love you and god bless you so today we're going to be talking about businesses and on today's episode of business week I'm going to be talking about some mistakes to avoid if you want to have a successful business. Now, see, to run a business, it's very, very, very tedious. I, I, I know it by experience because <laughs> what we do in this country, most especially my country, Nigeria, is we do business and it's not everybody that do business that succeed. Honestly, so out of experience, I'm going to be telling you some of the things that I have realized and I feel if you can avoid these mistakes, you can really have a successful businesses. See, if you want your business to grow, you need to think about this. See, it's either you are starting, you want to start a business or you're already in a business or you're almost out of business. As long as you can try to avoid these mistakes, I assure you that you will try number one selling on credit it's very very bad it is bad for business like mm, don't do it don't sell on credit whether you're just starting a business or you want to start a business make sure you don't sell on credit someone told me that it's better for him to see his goods in his shop than for him to sell on credit now let me give you a simple illustration. Let's say, for instance, you buy a particular product for 1,000 naira, and you decide to sell that product for 1,500. I know in your mind now you'll be saying 500 naira is your gain. But think about it. 500 naira is not your gain. Cannot even be your gain. See transport. Okay, let's say, for instance, you buy that product from another town. Now, you put transport that they'll bring it to your particular place. You put Okada fee or Kekena Pep fee. You will put, if you have a shop, you put Nepa bill. You will put rent. You put water that you are going to drink. You still put time that you are going to sit down in the shop. Look at the energy you need. That is the food that you are going to eat to talk and market to your customers. At the end of the day, if you minus all these things, you realize that you are just getting only 15 naira from one particular product that you are selling. Now, if you now sell that product on credit, you've lost. You lost everything. Your time, your resources, your energy, even your 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 mind you've lost everything and that is why it's not advisable to sell on credit it's not advisable to sell on credit because you think you are you are making profit see if um if you've been in business and you've sold on credit i i can assure you you or you yourself know within yourself that it's not everybody that buys on credit that pays they don't pay it's not everybody if you are lucky if you are lucky you 90 percent of the people who buy on credit from you pays why some will just be give you today 500 tomorrow tomorrow 200 tomorrow 100 naira, next tomorrow 50 naira. before you know you've wasted that money and you'll be thinking what happened why are you not doing right what are you not doing right it's because you are selling on credit stop selling on credit and I know the people who do these things are most people who buy from us from credit are our family members, our loved ones, our neighbors, people we feel we know. And they're the ones that are doing us more harm. Now think about it. This is your friend that you are selling to on credit. Will she ever go to another person's shop and buy something without paying? It's not possible. So let her treat you the same way she's treating other people. Uh -uh. You know the stress that you, you took before you started this business you know the stress you know the time you know everything you have to add up and to start this business and somebody will now come and start buying your 15 naira gain on credit it's not fair so you need to put your stand you need to take your stand i know it's not easy i know it's not easy to say no to some certain people but if you want to thrive you really 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 need to say no now my second point is fear there are two types of fear majorly Fear of starting a business and fear of staying in business. Now, if you finally overcome that fear of starting a business, the next fear that will be on your mind is the fear of staying in business. Hmm. Now, 
Many reason why many people sell on credit is because they are afraid. Like they have this fear of staying in business and they feel if they sell on credit to make them stay in business, not knowing they are, you know, ruining their career. So now let me give you a simple trick to solving this fear. See, but we have a lot of fear. Even me, I used to fear sometimes. Sometimes I'll just sit down like, huh, customers, Jesus, God, please help me. Yes, there's so many kinds of fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of not selling, fear of of not making profit, fear of not having customer, fear of not paying your rent, fear, plenty fear like that, like that. But let me give you one simple trick now. And that trick is my next point, which is always speak life into your business. See, your business is like is like a, a beautiful garden. If you don't if you don't give it the necessary nutrition it needs, it's not going to thrive. It doesn't only need your time, your attention. It also needs your prayers. You know, your prayers speak life. I speak life into my business. My business is growing day by day. I am get. I am making profit. Good customers are locating me. Good customers are locating me. Customers that will buy. Customers that will pay. Customers that will refer me to other people that will come and buy and pay. Speak life into your business. See, a great man says that... Um, um, courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to still go for it after knowing that you're scared of this thing, but you just gather courage and you just go for it. That is, that is what courage is. So you need to be courageous. Hmm. As I said earlier, having a business is not a day job. Oh. You need to be very, very courageous and continue to speak life into your business. And that is my point number three, speak life into your business. That's number four. Never. Hmm. You hear me, ba? Never, ever make the mistake of doing so many things at the same time. It's not good for business. So. See, the number one secret to succeeding is starting where you are, not everywhere. If you today you decide to sell popcorn, stay there. Stay there. Maybe after six months, seven months, you feel that, okay, this popcorn is giving you money. Then you cannot use the profits you've gathered from that popcorn to go and buy bread. But don't say you want to start popcorn, bread, biscuits, chewing gum. You are not doing trader, oh. You are not doing a trader shop. Please, don't do so many things at the same time. It is very, very dangerous. Apart from the fact that you you will not, you know, you waste money and time. You will not be accountable. You will not have account of where your money is going to. And it is very, very bad for business. So please, never, I repeat, never do so many things at the same time. Last but definitely not the least is no matter how hard it may seem, no matter how difficult it may look, please, I'm begging you, don't give up. You put in so much work, so much time, so much commitment into this. Please don't give up. It will bloom. See, everything in life, either good or bad, takes time. So, so, give your business time to grow. Think of it like, a garden, a beautiful flower. Give it all the attention, all the time, all the prayers you it needs. And I promise you, it will bloom. It will blossom. Always remember, the time works wonders. Thank you very much for staying till this time. Please do well to listen, watch to the end, and... You know, share your own opinions with me. What are the mistakes that I didn't mention and you think we need to know so that we can grow together? You know, nobody's an island. We all flow into each other. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs> Support me. Help my channel grow. And um, God bless you. See you next time. I love you. Mm.